Namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pooja and today I have with me a representative from the Maitri Bodh Parivar, Maitri Shrestha. Namaste Shrestha Namaste. Ji. Thank you so much for being here with me on my channel and um, I'm very grateful for you to take some time out of your day uh, to spend with us and to share with us all the goodness that you have to share with us. So welcome, very, very warm welcome. <laughs> thank you, Pooja Ji, and thank you for having me and thank you for taking the time out from your day. I know we're in different parts of the world. It's early morning here, late night there, but thank you for doing this, thank you. All right, so today we are going to explore a little bit um, how, first of all, how we've met and know a little more about what you are a part of, uh, Shreshta Ji. So I'm going to start off by just sharing a little bit about how I came across uh, Maitri Shreshta. I saw, I happened to see on social media um, a little live session that Shreshta Ji had with another person um, on Instagram. And I just couldn't get my off my my eyes off that video, and I wanted to keep watching it. And that's when I I, I told myself, okay, I need to get in touch with Shreshta Ji and learn more about it. And you know, um, and maybe I'll be able to share this message uh, through my channels. And that's how we got in touch. And um, I believe that there was this immediate connection that we built and here we are today um, we are together through screens of course but uh, it's such a pleasure to be able to connect with someone who has such a powerful message to share and um, who um, is aligned with um, uh, whatever I wish to be able to share and spread um, so uh, Maitri Shreshta, I'd, I'd love to start uh, by talking about something that I saw in one of your videos. You once spoke about Maitri Light. So could you please tell us a little more about Maitri Light, what it is and what it means? Yes, yes, sure, Pooja. Thank you for your wonderful words. And it was really a pleasure to meet you even when you called and reached out. And then when we kept speaking, there was this instant connection because we came together for a common um, cause and we kind of have a common understanding about where, the, where humanity is, is going today. So uh, coming to Maitri Light, Maitri Light is something that has been introduced by Dada Shriji. It is an offering, a free offering by Maitri Bodh Parivar. It is a combination of prayer and healing it comes together, you know, it's kind, it's kind of a, the, the person who is the medium, the person who is giving Maitri light is the one who is completely in prayer for you while the healing is happening through your connection with your divine. And of course, as it's been designed by Dada Shriji, there is intervention by uh, Maitreya Dada Shriji also. So it's a beautiful combination of a prayer and healing for all of us who are mediums of Maitri Light, it is just a way of offering seva or selfless service to uh, humanity. And Maitri Light can be uh, received for absolutely anything, any kind of a challenge or block that you are facing in your life, whether it is emotional, uh, material, spiritual, uh, physical whatever it may be, you can receive Maitri Light for anything. And then the energy works in such a way that whatever you are going through, that kind of gets, um, uh, you know, you overcome that with whatever is best for you. So for instance, I would just share this, there's this lady who kind of came to uh, one of the mediums to receive Maitri Light. And she uh, basically received Maitri Light for her weight, for her weight loss. And she said that in my life, I have never done, you know, any kind of exercise or any kind of diet because I just couldn't get, get myself to do it. Um, I just didn't feel like it. And she said, after receiving Maitri Light, it wasn't, you know, so it's not like it's, it's like you receive Maitri Light and then overnight you become uh, kind of 50 kgs less or 25 kgs less or whatever that is. But she said that after receiving Maitri Light, it guided me in a direction 
where I decided that, okay, now I need to do something that motivation came in. And she said, now today I'm working on it. And within a span of a month or something like that, she's lost nine kgs. So for a person who never worked out, who never took care of themselves after receiving Maitri Light, the guidance came in a much positive way. So not only is she receiving help for her weight loss, but it has also changed her lifestyle. So it is a process where if the person is open to receiving, then it will do uh, more for you, you know, and it will give you what is best. So if, if uh, so usually for us humans, we, we say healing and we expect magic, you know, <laughs> but over here, it's like Maitri light will help you in, in your life in more ways if you're open to receiving that help and that guidance in your life. So yeah, that is what my three light is. Beautiful. Uh, thank you for sharing. And I love, uh, I love how you described it. And you started off by saying something about that inner light, the, the inner divine. It is what we already have within us and that just needs to be uh, found, not found again. We've not lost it. It's still there. And we just need to reconnect to that light. And then let it shine, right? And I, I also uh, loved what you said about um, being open to receiving, right? It's, we hear this a lot nowadays and me being a yoga instructor, I hear, I see this, I hear this a lot. Instructors saying, you know, surrender, surrender. But what yeah. does that really mean? Okay, it's to me in simple words, it's just be open to the bigger picture instead of just, you know, thinking in a box and staying uh, within that box that has been created for us, or maybe that we've just gotten used to living in and just be open to the bigger picture and have, have a bird's eye view instead of just having a linear vision. Um, so that, that was very, very interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and of course, you mentioned Dada Shriji. Um, could you please tell us a little more about Dada Shriji? I would love to. Uh, that's <laughs> the most favorite thing for me to, to actually do is to take Dadashriji, the, the, the one who changed my life, who transformed my life from what I was today to what I am today. And I'm not talking about something which is, you know, external or just in habits, mm -hmm. but he's changed the core of my being and he's changed the core of uh, you know, many people who are today associated with Maitri Bhut Parivar or who are connected with Dada Shriji. So he is basically, um, you can say that he is, uh, he likes to call himself a divine friend. He says that I am just your friend. I am not a guru or a master or God. Do not categorize me in any of this. I am just your higher sacred self, or I'm just your friend, a good friend, a divine friend who's here to guide you. He's, he's just here to guide us. Everything that Dada Shriji teaches or everything that he shares or suggests is something that he has already gone through. Mm. So he has, he has experienced everything. And after experiencing everything, he came to a point where he realized who he truly was. And what is his purpose in life right now today? And he was awakened to the reality that, um, you know, he's more than just what, what, what meets the eye, what, uh, what the human body is. He's much more than that. And then he had visitations from many masters and guides when he started his journey. He's actually a doctor. Uh, but he, he, his search started when he's, he realized that, you know, we can take away the physical suffering to a certain extent with medication. But mm. what about everything else that is going on in a human being's life? What about the emotional pain? What about uh, the challenges you face in the work that you do? What about the human mind? How do we treat that? That's how his journey started. And then he met many masters and many guides on his way. He had a lot of divine forms uh, which appeared in front of him while he used to go into his meditative states. And at that time, Maha Avtar Babaji appeared in front of him. 
So if you read about Mahatma Baba Ji, uh, he came out. I mean, the knowledge about him came to the world uh, mostly when Paramahansa Yogananda Ji wrote a book called Autobiography of a Yogi, and that is where Baba Ji came. And there are a lot of followers of Mahatma Baba Ji already. He's uh, almost five thousand years old, still exists in his physical form in the Himalayas. So he appeared in front of Dada Shri Ji, and he made Dada Shri Ji realize that this is what you are meant to do in life. And he said that my consciousness is completely within you for the Maitri mission. Mm -hmm. So Maitri mission is the name of the mission. Dada Shri Ji is the founder, and he is here. His his path or everything that he does is to only help humanity, and he expects nothing from anybody. he just says that you know be a good human being be a better person experience transformation move forward in your life receive what we have to share because we have experienced it and uh, we are here to guide you receive it and then move along you're free to follow any guide any guru any master any form of god that you believe in we will you know help you connect with them even stronger so he gives you complete freedom to be who you truly are you know and he gives you the he doesn't judge you for what you do whatever you do with dada shri ji one thing i've realized it ever since i've known him there have been so many mistakes that you know what i would call them as mistakes that i have made but every time he just forgives and he guides you to do better he says move along do better and whatever i am today or whatever uh, the way you introduced me puja or whatever you experienced in that live which happened on instagram is completely because of him so for me he is not human he is an energy yes. and uh, he is an energy to help humanity and to transform humanity but to start off with the way my journey started with him is that he started we started out as true friends and today also you know he's my in he's the voice in my heart and he's the one who is my true friend and i've understood the meaning of friendship because of dada shri ji in my life so i can go on for a very, very long time have to talk about him but this is basically a little bit about that. Lovely and we could listen to you speak about this uh <laughs> for hours and hours I'm sure. Um uh yes you mentioned the book uh the autobiography of a yogi I'm currently reading it and um you know this concept of friendship or divine friendship or true friendship you know goes way beyond um just connecting with someone because you have similar interests or affinities you know it it is that relationship that you build with someone that connects your light to their light and then you come together to serve a higher purpose you know it's like like you said energies like energies coming together for a greater purpose now speaking about purpose because you didn't mention something about you know finding your purpose and uh dada shri ji himself stepping into his purpose um uh you know many a times we hear this a lot we read about this especially during these uh, you know uncertain times uh many people feel like they don't have a purpose or they're not able to find it and they have this cloud in their mind you know like they they don't know what way to go um or they they just don't have a direction a sense of direction right so uh speaking about friendship speaking about connecting to this divine friendship or finding this path how in in very simple words how would you say uh anyone going through those heavy emotions or anxiety or uh just confusion and lack of clarity how do we go from that to finding clarity to finding that connection to that friendship within around us that can help us or that can guide like again you mentioned guidance and that's such a strong word um how can we find that guidance how can we you know hold that hand and uh proceed right okay so i think there were there were a purpose of life and then there was friendship i think two aspects so mm -hmm. the first thing that i want to share that the purpose of your life actually or anybody else is not out there in the world 
the purpose of your life is for what you have truly come on earth in this lifetime is deeply embedded in your heart you already know the purpose what happens is that after we are born when we start growing up the outside world starts influencing yes so people loosely say you know follow your heart follow your heart but what does that mean can a human being actually differentiate between following the voice of the mind and following the voice of the heart many a times we make decisions based on you know the attractiveness of the world outside so mm-hmm. you want to become for example you know uh, puja talking about you talking about me today we are speaking about this topic somewhere we are influencing other people today we are uh, we can be categorized to a certain extent in the category of influencers because we are speaking and we are influencing somebody somebody's mind so here also when while we are doing this what is the purpose behind this why are we talking today is it for our own individual uh, you know like i want to be famous mm-hmm. or i want people to know me or i want to have 1 lakh or 1 million or whatever that is that the the target the new targets which are set for you being instagram famous as they call it or you know famous on youtube why are we doing this is there a higher purpose behind it so mm-hmm. when it is the purpose of your life you are not growing just on your own you take other people forward with you and you feel whether you get likes on your post whether you don't get likes on your post whether you share something that you do is shared or not shared your whole um, intent is that i want to make a difference in someone else's life or a difference for mother mm-hmm. earth or you know something which is larger yes. and it is something that you truly love to do whether it can be something as simple as you like making pots or you like painting you know and then that manifests into your going forward it manifests into the larger purpose mm. so the purpose of your life is actually deeply embedded in your heart and the core of that purpose is love so it is what you truly love to do and love because when they, when is when we talk about true love it is not yours love is something that you give love mm. doesn't have taking in it love has something that you know you can give so then you take everybody forward with you when you truly like to do something so i can share a small little thing which happened i was sharing it with a friend of mine um so you know that i post a lot of these videos you know about what i have learned from that shri ji what i have realized how i have changed and there is something uh, about gossip that that shri ji mm. said should not gossip it's not really healthy and what happens when you gossip you know so it's a video a little bit about that and there were i mean i truly appreciate there are a lot of comments there are a lot of likes there are a lot of shares many a times i mean based on what i feel is is decent enough it's not a million or a trillion yeah. or whatever but the most important thing was and what where i felt content uh, when when this particular thing happened was there was this girl who commented on one of the videos on the gossip video saying that you know shreshtha this is not fair what you have done because every time i will indulge in a little bit of gossip going further you're going to be the voice in my head telling me don't do it it's <laughs> not right and you know puja that was satisfying yes because i'm like okay one person has it it has gone deep within one person's consciousness that okay you know i have to change so that gives you content when you're following your purpose of life whether people say good about you don't say good about you that does not make a difference you keep mm. following it and then when it comes to discovering the purpose of your life this is when that divine friendship comes in handy because that divinity or like i said that purpose is deeply embedded in your heart all the knowledge of the universe is deeply embedded in your heart it's yes. there how do you connect with this so to connect with this is where that friendship with your divine every with the divine is one whether we talk about jesus christ whether we talk about allah whether we talk about krishna whether we talk any any religion for what i know the source is one with various forms right so the minute you connect with the source or, the, or that quality of the divine that you connect with or if you follow uh, ganpati or jesus christ connect with them take them as your friend is what dada shri ji he says take your divine as your friend and let that divine friendship guide you to your purpose so then it just reveals itself it just reveals itself and then you just flow with it so it's there within you 
it is something that you love it is something which will take others forward with you uh, you will not run after the worldly things of you know wanting to be more rich or famous or that will happen that will be a by product and mm. you will not even you know care because that it comes from it comes from your passion and to get here and to you know lessen the influence of the mind dada shri ji is here so he will uh, help you in that divine friendship he will help you to make best friends with your own divine and and get that divine uh, guidance so yeah that's what i would say about that wonderful and um just to share uh i after we connected i of course i explored a little more i went onto the website and uh i did the the meditation that was that that is on the on the one of the meditations that is recorded and uh, posted on the website and i i still remember the feeling when i did that meditation uh i immediately after i finished it i had to share it like you said you know it comes from within where you want others to experience that and you want you're like okay you know what i need to take others with me and they need to experience that it was it was purely divine that one meditation i did and that that led me to you know uh try to find out more about it and try to get in touch with more people in the parivar and i can i can say of course i'm very early on in this journey but that little effect that that one meditation had on me yeah. is was magical and is still magical and it's the trust like you you also mentioned that it's the trust and the faith that you keep in that you know it's not a, it's not you do something and the next day you're going to have the results that you were hoping for you know it's about letting go of that attachment to the to what you want but just mm -hmm. trusting and having faith that the divine is there to guide you in the best way for you yes. um Yes. So yeah, I'm very very grateful uh, to have experienced it and to be in this journey and to have people like you uh guiding us and guiding so many more um through this journey. I I want to add something. Know that you said that the parivar, you know. So for us in in Maitri Bhot Parivar and this comes truly from our heart. we want our family to grow and the, the minute we get in touch with anybody you become family for for us so mm -hmm. you are our parivar also now we <laughs> also part of the family so it's our parivar gorgeous i'm so grateful to be part of the family truly am um well maitri shesta thank you very much for sharing all that uh, goodness with us um i would love to have you again with us to share a little more about the mission like you said um but for now it, it's that is it for this video thank you once again thank you for everyone who watched and uh we will be back very very soon with uh, some more to share with everyone Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you.